Hello folks, Joey Led Stippin back here. It's good to be back. It's good to see you all. Um, everyone who came over from Outlaw last video had nothing but good things to say. So I really appreciate it. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you enjoy what I do. And we're here for another review. And uh, this is one that it's one of the most common and simple dips. And I made a how to dip it video about a year and a half ago, but I, I, I just recently realized I haven't actually reviewed this since 2011. Sorry about the glare. Copenhagen Snuff. Everyone's sending me pictures. Oh, did you get the vintage lid? I've never seen the vintage lids up here. The only time I ever got them la was last year when I was in Tennessee. Um, I don't know why they just don't come up here. Because I, I think they had the classic Forge Legacy and traditional. For me, it was between the one that won. I think it was classic. I could be wrong. The Forge Legacy, and I really hated the tradition. But uh, today, we just have the uh, regular one. Oh, ho, ho, ho. But anyways, let's get right into it. Let's take a look at the presentation, even though I don't have the vintage tin. No matter which tin it is, even the dips I don't like, like Cope Straight or whatever, Copenhagen knows how to make a really sharp can. They always do. Even just a simple design like this, just silver. You got the side here, nice and simple. Why don't they have the fiberboard bottom? Fun fact, back in the day, all dips did. They used to all come in fiberboard. Now it's just Cope Snuff, Cope LC, and Cope Original Pouches. Why the pouches? Because it gives it some of the flavor. Also helps to pack it really good. The date on it's a little bit worn for some reason, but it appears to be November 23rd. I've had one pinch out of it. It is very wet. I have not been getting very good dates lately. I don't know why. Hmm. Cope Snuff just has, in my opinion, out of all the dips, the most pure, natural, just really neutral scent. It's just clean. You know what I mean? Because it's not even a natural dip. It's just Cope Snuff. These are the only cans that I actually side pack. I always front pack except for snuff. I think my how to dip cope snuff video is pretty good except I said no one can pack it in the side. That's been proven wrong because I actually can pack it in the side now. If you need help packing the stuff, consult my uh, how to dip cope snuff video. But here's pinch number one. Normally I just throw in a couple until I'm satisfied with the size of it. That's what she said. Not bad. Not the biggest slip I've ever taken, but it's good enough. It's actually been a pretty decent while since I've had snuff. Cope Snuff is just, in my opinion, it's a great dip. It's one of my favorites. Uh, it always kind of has been ever since the first time I tried it because the taste is just so natural. Like even Cope LC to me has kind of a dirty thing going on, you know? It's kind of got a dirty, earthy taste. This is just natural. It's real tobacco. That's what you get. It's pure. Purest dip out there. Comparison. You know, people like, oh, LC. Yeah, no. No, I wouldn't actually compare it to LC at all. If anything, I would say Cope Natural has a more similar flavor to it. I think on Cope's website, it says like, um, for Cope Natural, it says the taste of snuff and a longer cut. I wouldn't quite go that far. I don't think they're that similar. But I would have to say it's more similar to natural than uh, LC. And I'd say, if anything, natural is just more salty, whereas this is just more toned down and plain. As if they just took tobacco and stuck it in a can, and that's it. It's always been my signature thing to have Mountain Dew with my snuff, so I'm actually not drinking coffee. What the fuck's the deal with this? I remember last year it was seasonal, and then by July, end of July, it was gone. It's November and I'm still buying it, so I don't really fucking know what they're doing, but... I'm not complaining because my favorite Mountain Dew is throwback and then that. Soda is a very unhealthy habit that will lead to soap. Cut and packability now. Okay, so it looks lighter on cam, but it's actually dark, but you can definitely tell how uh, fine cut it is. It's just the finest cut dip, but I like that. It's nice to vary it up from the typical long cut once in a while. It's quite pleasant. So it's really fine cut. Packability, you will probably have trouble with it at first. Most do. I didn't personally. I, I could pack it right off the bat. But, um, yeah, if you really have trouble packing it, or you're having difficulty, it's your first time with it, whatever, just go to my cope, How to Dip Cope Snuff video. I was fatter then, but it's still informative. Packability's good, though. It's good. Um, the texture is, it can be a little rougher than, um, for example, maybe Cope LC, because it's so much finer. It's gonna make more little slits in your lip. No, it's not fiberglass. 
I know that theory. People still believe that shit. This fiberglass and dip. That's how it works. No, it's not. There was fiberglass and dip. Your gums would literally bleed every time you dip. They would bleed out, so it would completely block the absorption of nicotine. It'd be fucking pointless. There's no fiberglass in this shit. How that even started, I will never know. It's salt crystals. They make little slits in your lip that you can't see. We absorb the nicotine through. They'll never learn, will they? I don't think so. Guaranteed they're the same people who think dip is chew and chew is dip and all this fucking shit. Spit. All right, so I have a word about this with this dip. Okay, so it's not the darkest because it is a plain or natural or original dip. Of course, it's not going to have as much spit as wintergreens or mints or any of those. Some people are like, it's dry. It's not dry. It's just drier. I think I went on the same rant in my last video. Um, so, I mean, it is naturally drier, so you don't get quite as much spit. But it's perfectly fine for me. Still get enough. Last stability is pretty good. Um, here's, it's kind of different than most. For me, it doesn't usually grow dry fast. But once it starts drifting a little more and falling out of place, then I'm like, okay, this lip's done. Because that's kind of what Cope Snuff does instead. Instead of just drying out and be like, oh, I'm done with this, it'll start to kind of fall apart and mush up into shit. And then you're like, oh, it's done. Hey, I'm wearing the same shirt I have in my intro. Oh, I have brown eyes. So you don't see them much. They're usually dark. One time I got told, oh, you have default eyes. I'm like, yeah, thank you. Good to know. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. It lasts pretty good for what it is. Not quite as good as others, but when you take into consider, you know, considering naturals, I would say 45 minutes, about, give or take. Everyone's different. It depends on the freshness of the can, how well you pack it, how much you pack. This lip actually might run a little under, because that's not typically as big as my other lips. In the last video, someone was like, kid packs a quarter can and you can't even fucking tell. Yeah, it's all about, it forms a pocket in there. It sure does. My cheeks aren't that big. I mean, they were big when I was fat, but they're not that big. Aftertaste is another thing with this one. Uh, most dips have an ass aftertaste, just a terrible aftertaste. This one doesn't. It tastes the same when you take it out, so it won't be unpleasant. Because especially like wintergreens, like mints aren't too bad. Fruits, it depends on which flavor. Um, but naturals, if it's a good natural in the first place, aren't bad. So it just leaves kind of a trace of uh, natural tobacco. I won't be able to taste the aftertaste because I have this. Question of the video for anyone who actually watches this long. What's your favorite Mountain Dew besides original? What's your favorite one? And then if you don't like Mountain Dew, then what's your favorite soda? Question of the video, which I don't normally do. Shoutouts. Okay, so we have a few. Uh, for our regulars, we have Fad Zack Dips, Rocky Top Dipper, Eric Dips, Jimmy Hen Dips, and Metal Arc Dipper 99. And then for our rotators, we have Caleb Collins, Southern Dipper 24, Copenhagen Dipper, Mark Dips Copenhagen, and Georgia Dipper 1998. Check them all out or I'll kick your ass home. We are up to 46,770 subscribers, so thank you all. I love you all so much. Keep dipping and spitting, keep cracking and packing. And now it is time, where'd I put the can? Definitely one of my favorite dips. It's definitely in my top five. I don't give a dip this good a rating, really, because usually I try to be honest and be kind of critical in a way. 10 out of 10. I never get tired of this. I've never had a problem with this and I've always loved it. And that's that. So that's been the video. Like this video if you like this video because it makes me happy. I have all my social media stuff in the description and I will see you in the next one. So thank you for watching. Take care.